When I grew up, I remember thinking, I, I don't want a job. I don't want a boss. Like it was really important to me that I didn't have it. Was it like that for you or did you just fall in love with this game so much that you, you couldn't see anything else other than that? No, so for me, it's, I don't mind uh, like taking direction to a point or something like that if it seems reasonable. So I think what I would have said then would have been something like I don't want a boss that's not unreasonable, reasonable yeah. or that's not yeah, smart. Yeah. But the, my, sometimes my tolerance for that stuff can be surprisingly low, you know. And yet other times I can be in a game where some businessman wants me to play for 40 hours and just deal with it because I'm like, oh, it's a good game. That's okay. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know exactly how my mind works on that stuff. But Can you remember when the time came, the crunch time came where you're, I don't know, 18, 19, 20, and you're, you're studying and you're thinking, well, am I going to carry on with my studies or am I going to give this poker finger shot or am I going to get a job? What was happening around that time period? So I put a... Uh, Halfway through my senior year of high school, I put $50 online. And uh, by the end of the summer, I think I had, or sorry, by the start of the summer, I think I had made 10 or 15,000 or something like that. And um, I wanted, I remember I wanted to get a shore house, a Jersey shore house with uh, some of my high school buddies for like a week, it was a week, two weeks, something. And uh, I remember my mom saying, like, you know, you gotta go get a job and then you can use that money. And obviously I put my 50 bucks online, I made like 15,000 and I was like, oh, I got yeah, your sure house money. Yeah. <laughs> and um, then I think I made a little money that's, you know, maybe it was 30 by the end of the summer or something. And then I went to school, to, to college, I went to Boston University. And uh, the, my freshman year, there were so many things I really liked about it socially. There were um, interesting things of, you know, I grew up in New Jersey, now I'm in Boston. Uh, you know, I think the city of Boston, especially as like a young college student, has such a unique culture. Um, and and uh, there was a lot of stuff I liked about that experience. And then I also liked some of my classes, but the ones I didn't like, I just didn't you know, keep my grades up in and stuff, didn't yeah. show up for the classes sometimes, didn't show up for the tests sometimes. And at the end of my freshman year, I had to go to some summer school thing because I like hadn't shown up for some English class stuff and whatever. And uh, I don't remember exactly, but I think I probably made 80,000 or something by, by that point, which was a decent sum, but also not like drop out of college go on a completely different life path yeah. uh, kind of money. And so I was doing the whole show up to my classes in the summer and stuff, but I was playing more and more poker. And I, was, I remember there was a time I played mainly $2, $4, so a $400 buy-in. And I just really sat down and was like, okay, I need to just win some silly amount of money so that I feel, feel okay with this thing. And, uh, I think I won like 250 or 300 buy-ins, so like 120K or 100K or something at just $2, $4. And then I, by then I was playing a little bigger stakes at the yeah. end. But basically I, I won a number where I looked at the number of buy-ins. I think it was Poker Tracker back then. Yeah, I was going to say Poker Tracker or, or Holding right. Manager, right? And I was like, okay, wow. You know, I think, all right, I think I could go down this path. Um, yeah, kind of didn't look back from there. What was it like back then? I mean, one of the questions I was going to ask you was, when was the, when was the easiest money you ever made? I mean, what was it like back then? I mean, it sounds incredible. Well, I think there were a lot less resources. Um, so you had to figure more things out on your own, which was harder in some respects, but also the competition, partly because of there being a lot less resources, mm. was a lot lower level. Um, so I don't think that would really be, I, I haven't played $2, $4 online in uh, a while. A long time. I think that would be very, very doable today. Um, you know, back then I think the games were much softer.